Hello, hello, hello. This is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to a yarn boxing. For the first time I have ordered through Iplik Outlet for a 2022. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's already January 21st. I can't believe how time is flying by. Okay, so this yarn is uh, being carried on from last year. <laughs> um I've been like cold cut buying yarn, cold turkey cut. I just cut it. So uh, I'm not buying as I used to, but uh, yeah. So uh, there's supposed to be, because the way I uh, added my multiplication, these are from Turkey. Again, if you're a new subscriber, if you were first time in my uh, watching my YouTube channel, I have tutorials, knitting, everything, cooking, <laughs> crochet, I love crocheting, knitting. Um, yeah, I have so many uh, tutorials, videos on uh, YouTube. I think almost 100 uh, yarn unboxing, maybe more, that I have created a playlist. So if you want to check my playlist, I try to add them up every time I post a video. Because there's uh, 700. Yeah, I hit 700 videos. I received an email from YouTube that I had hit 700 videos that I have posted since 2009, February 14th. Yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah, this yarn, the yarn that arrived is from November 26th. I went to, uh, it was a Black Friday. I got these at the auction, only three, 1.5 kilogram, so about three pounds. Yeah, three pounds. Yeah. On December 11th, I grabbed again two different variety of yarn, about one and a half kilogram. And uh, December 17th, I grabbed 500 gram of this yarn, eyelash burgundy. And January 7th to 8th, I grabbed three different yarn, about two kilogram. So there's supposed to be about five kilogram, but the package says. It is uh, six point six point seven kilograms. So I don't know what's going on. Well, the, it's in a bag, so we'll see what's inside. I'm hoping everything arrived, cause I hate to message that these these are missing, right? Okay, so I see a rip. That's where I open my thing, cause it's yarn, right? I don't wanna. Looks like the bag was damaged a bit. I believe. Let's see. Okay, so there's two. Yeah, there's two bags. That's what I like about packaging. Arrive nice and securely. Even with two packaging, can you see how it's been ripped? So if this does happen. Uh, you know what? It's not two actually. It looks like this was uh, bent over. Okay, so it's one actually, and it came from FedEx. I was actually sleeping when it arrived, so it arrived early. I went to bed at 7 a.m. Believe it or not, 7 a.m. Crocheting, trying to finish a baby blanket. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, if you, uh, uh, my next uh, live stream is going to be on uh, December 27th. I don't know what time. It depends on the day, I guess. So stay tuned for that. And I'm trying to finish a couple of projects. So um, I can show you guys. And I want to do a showcase on two of the cardigans that I finished for the month of January. 2022 okay so I'm gonna open this okay I paid uh, about 110 Canadian dollars for shipping and the yarn I think I pulled paid uh, I paid $200 for the yarn I believe I'm not quite sure. I sent him 400 uh, Turkish lira 
and an 81, so about $500. 500 Turkish dira I paid. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay, so what they did is they put it on a FedEx bag and then uh, they it was already packed. So can you see? So the yarn is not damaged at all. So that's a good thing. That's why I love about the packaging. Okay. This is the first time I'm ordering this small amount of a package. Because usually my packages were over 30 kilograms. So, uh, this is the first time. I'm smalling. I'm receiving a small package. Yeah, let me just get rid of this bag and I'll be right back because it's going to take me forever. Okay, so I finally oh, removed the one layer. So it says 6,700 uh, 6. gram of yarn. Okay, let's uh, move remove this one and I'll be right back. Okay, I finally removed it. I don't know how many bags they were wrapped in, but here are the yarns that I have ordered. Okay, so this is the mustard. I thought I bought two, two lot. So I'm going to mark them as I go. You can see everything here. Let me just uh, move this a little bit. Okay, so this is the mustard. And when did I buy this? Where are you? Ooh. Gray. Huh. I bought two lots. So this is supposed to be one kilogram. I want to knit a card again for myself. And I already have a pattern in mind. So stay tuned for that tutorial. So this arrived. Okay, so I paid 500 gram. It was 50 Turkish dira, so I paid two one hundred dollar, uh, one hundred Turkish dira for this. Uh, I know when you convert it to Canadian or American, it's it looks like a small price, but don't forget there's the shipping fee plus the custom fee. Okay, so uh, I bought. Uh, gray acrylic uh, which one is that one i don't know there's a couple of grays here so i'm kind of okay let's move on to the pastel rainbow so i bought five a pound of pastel rainbow which is here remember i did a tutorial on the four extra large um cardigan that i have shipped so uh gonna mark that one it arrived denim mohair denim mohair is this one it's one lot so it's 480 gram and 72 turkish dira for the denim mohair it has uh cotton in it i believe and the pastel was 75 turkish dira so mark that merino alpaco here we go this is the merino alpaco you know what i should open these bags but i wanted to show before i open them Marina Alpaco, I paid 500 gram for 125 Turkish lira. Okay, so that one arrived. UPIO. <laughs> okay, so let's go move on to the... So this must be the 500 gram of the burgundy eyelash. So that arrived. Looks so small though. Okay, acrylic polymide. I don't... That's the thing. I didn't write it down. Okay, so last week's, two weeks ago, I bought two lots of Laylock popcorn. Here they are. Aren't they beautiful? I want to make myself something out of that. So there's about a, I believe, over one kilogram. So, yeah, one kilogram, two pounds. So one lot variegated, which is this. It's shiny, though. So that one, uh, for the popcorn, well, it's called popcorn, but it's actually, uh, there's acrylic merino um, mohair yarn in this. And uh, I, I will show it to you close by. And the uh, variegated 70 Turkish that I paid. So those two cakes. 
they arrived for the gray merino wool gray must be this one wow it looked gorgeous in the picture but yeah so i paid 90 turkish little for that one that one arrived okay i think there's a couple of from last time that wasn't mailed to me i believe because uh yeah, the gray. So the polyamide gray. I don't remember which one it was. The poly. It says acrylic polyamide gray. Gray. Okay. So it must be this then. Yeah. Must be. Let's open the bag. Uh. This green is from last time, I believe. Yeah, I just need to check my notes, and I'll be right back. That it wasn't mailed to me, and it's mailed this time. Um, yeah, I'm looking at it. Yeah. Here they are. These two weren't mailed to me. Way back from November 19th. So, uh, these two are from uh, November 19th that arrived in this order yeah okay let's open and see I already knitted to with this one uh, the brim of a hat I'm gonna wear that card again and the hat it's a mohair, mohair yarn. Yeah, I forgot about those. That's why I didn't add them from last, uh, uh, I paid way back in November, over two months ago. So those arrived. So that's one one kilogram extra, because uh, the yarn that I ordered was five kilogram, right? So the seven gram is for the pack, 700 gram is for the packaging, believe it or not. Oh, wow. Oh. Uh, I'm looking did I miss any other that didn't arrive on time okay I'm looking at this and I don't remember this uh, did I buy it I think I did yeah I think this was I can't remember see that's the thing I forget things you know, because uh, I purchased it in November, December, right? So I don't know if this is a gift. If it was a gift, they usually write it down. So, uh, yeah, I don't think it's a gift. Yeah, oh, nice. It looks like, uh, feels like a viscose. Yeah, and it's uh, soft to the skin. So uh, I d uh, you can crochet with this. But it's uh, only one pound, so uh, you can't make a big thing out of it. Okay. So this is the yarn. See how it is shiny, and it's so thin. Yeah, I can't even make a baby blanket out of this because it's a small amount, right? That's the thing. But what I can do is I can make a baby item, like a sweater cardigan, right? Me grab the other one so I'll put it together see the way that they do the packaging it's super good I could never put these yarn back into this bag the way that they pack it <laughs> uh, it's like impossible to put the, put them all back in it's, it's see how they they uh, push push to come out see this color I fell in love with it and I'm happy that I bought two lot so this is the laylock um, 150 Turkish dera, so about, uh, you just need to convert it, I didn't do the job for you, but uh, I bought two, um, two lot, so one lot, one pound was 70 Turkish dera, the yarn is thin though, just to point out, the yarn is pretty thin, see, really nice, I like it. 
Okay, here's the gray. This is from way from November. Gray acrylic. I want to knit something. Uh, okay, so this was supposed to be... Oh, yeah, it's soft. But it feels like... Uh, oh, let me grab that yarn. That's what it feels like. It doesn't feel like wool. Oh, it smells more, more like chemical. I believe Lion Brand carries this particular yarn. This is this is what it this feels like this super soft milky and uh what was this Ooh, trying to see 100% polyester that's what it feels like maybe there's a polyester in it but there's lots of yarn in here you know what I can even mix this and this and make a baby something baby boy because I only have one ball of this I bought this at Michael's and it was on sale so uh, I believe nine dollars I paid Canadian so uh, I can add this to this you know and make something because I have two I don't think there's merino wool in it because I don't feel that merino wool with my experience knitting so many years right so uh yeah, but uh, I can make a combo and make something. So stay tuned for the tutorial. I just need to uh, design it, create it, and work it out and uh, do the tutorial. And you guys can see it. So stay tuned for that. Okay. Uh, maybe I can make a baby blanket. Not a huge one, but I really like the colorway. It has the pink. Uh, I can't, this won't be from, well, you never know, right? Boy and girls has both of the color but uh, I can make something maybe corner to corner design my one of my yeah I have a couple of uh, tutorials that I'm planning to make so stay tuned for that I will use this yarn and show it to you it's shiny it's like Caron uh, simply soft I believe shiny the way that Caron is that's what it feels like and uh, yeah Okay, so let's carry on. Okay, the burgundy, this is about 500. I don't believe this is 500 gram. But uh, that's what I paid for. Let me go and weigh it and I'll be right back. Okay, so I weighed it. It's over 500 gram. I know the cake looks like small, but there's over a pound of yarn here. And again, this is eyelash. See how gorgeous the color is? So let's carry on with the burgundy. I'm gonna use burgundy. Uh, I'm sorry, with the with the mustard. See, this is mohair. And it's a couple of uh, strands. You, I can even separate this, believe it or not. But I wanna make a card again. So that's the reason I bought this and uh, one cake is so it's over one kilogram over two pounds it's really hard for you guys to see but that's what it is nice eh <laughs> put this here I'm trying to Okay, so I added this, 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 this. Okay, let's carry on. Oops, sorry. I don't know what's going on here. So here's the gray. Uh, so the gray, 400 gram. And the small one is 100 gram. So for 503, 
to make a cardigan again. That's what I sell on my Etsy shop. Again, these are from last, uh, uh, these two lots are from last November. So I'm happy that they arrived finally. Right over there, put them there. Okay, so here is the, this looks like uh, wool, but it has acrylic in it as, as well. It's for about a four weight, four weight. And uh, again, I believe this is a pound, just over a pound. For some reason, my camera doesn't focus. Yeah. Okay. And here is the denim. Oh, this is super soft. Really nice. Oh. Can make a... 500 gram. I can make a card again. Definitely, there's enough uh, wool to knit up a cardigan. Just so. Okay, here is the pastel rainbow. Pastel rainbow. Oh, yuppie, I have a bonus. About 22 gram of yarn. <laughs> oh, if you want to, if you can see it. <laughs> so this is all, folks. Uh, I didn't go overboard because I have so much yarn. Oh, my goodness. The other day I was selling some Ilti yarn. And I had to go through my stash. Oh, my goodness. Oh, everywhere this room was like up to the ceiling I was trying to find the yarn that she was asking for yeah let me move these a little bit closer for you guys to see uh, if you're gonna ask me if I buy I will buy yarn like I did for 2021 no I am uh, these yarn that I purchased 21 in 2021, uh, this, these yarn will last me forever, for years. I do sell some of the yarn, so uh, yeah, that's another thing. That's another way to shrink your uh, hoarder of yarn <laughs> that you have. But other, other than that, I am not planning to buy more yarn that I already have because uh the yarns that I see they already I already have them that's the thing when you have the yarn right you don't you don't buy the same yarn you look for different yarns that you need for your project okay so I'm just going to show you around what I have so far so here is the yarn don't they look gorgeous I tried to pick, but I still went and bought this one. That's another thing, right? You go and buy the same yarn. I already have this from my projects. From my projects that I've been working on, so stay tuned for that. I will show them on the live stream. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so... Let me show you what I have. This room was empty. Believe it or not, this room was empty. Now it's up to the ceiling. And I do not like this at all. Can you see? Can you see? Like, this is ridiculous. Here's me and my boy when he was five months old. Uh, yeah, so uh, I still haven't had a chance to knit a bathroom. A bath, bath, uh, raw robe for myself towel these are cotton and i have more never had the chance hopefully one day i will knit myself i want to knit myself a dress with this beautiful gray yarn here's me and my boy 
See how the picture got damaged right there on my face? So I didn't want it to have it damaged, so I had it, I don't know what you call this. They made it this way, so it will last forever. I should have done it years ago, but you know, I regret it that I didn't see my face, unfortunately. See, there's all this yarn. So uh, this is gonna take me forever. To knit up and I have more over there over here I'm planning to make a scarf and a hat never had the chance yet this one I'm gonna make a card again and this one I'm gonna make a card again here are some of my finally I found this hat which I'm going to donate here are my some of my ilty yarn <laughs> yep Yarn, yarn, yarn. I have long yarn everywhere. Here's more yarn that I've been uh, looking for, so I tried to organize them. They're the best quality yarn, Ilti yarn. They're very good quality. Here I am planning to make something out of this, so stay tuned for the tutorial. I bought this yarn from uh, Michaels, so I have three of them. I might add something else between, I don't know, we'll see, but it's very soft. These were on sale, I believe. Can't remember, but $2 or $3 off. Yeah, there were only three and I grabbed the three. So I hope you like this uh, yarn unboxing. It's, it's a small package, but you know, it, it carried on way back from November. And uh, yeah. I believe they have an auction today, today and tomorrow. Yeah, they do. I haven't had a chance to go in. Well, it's a night for them. There's eight, nine hours difference. And uh, it's daytime here. And my husband and my son are home. My husband's uh, day off is Friday, Saturday. And uh, it's really hard for me to participate in the auction because uh, time difference, right? And uh, there's so many things to do, cooking cleaning right people come over they go out yeah and uh so uh yeah so i hope you like this unboxing if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe share it with your family and friends uh happy knitting happy crocheting and stay tuned for my uh next tutorials i'm a little bit tired because i went to bed 7 7 a.m and uh, I woke up at, I don't know, three times the phone rang. Every two hours they woke me up. So uh, what can you do? Uh, I try to go to bed early. If you're a knitter or crocheter, if you're like me, you guys know it's really hard to go to bed early. Because uh, that's the most of the time that we do our knitting and crocheting when it's night. Because everyone's sleeping. There's no sound. There's nothing to do. Like cleaning, cooking, right? Daytime, it's like so busy, especially when I'm home. I don't know how people work at home. It's really hard. It's really hard. It's really tough, especially when I get orders. Like I get stressed out because I want to finish it and ship it to them, right? But um, yeah, it's really hard. And when we, uh, these, uh, if you're watching this, still watching, I'm sure you're going to be saying, oh, you're right. Well, it's it's hot. it's not easy to work at home. And for people that work at home, they think, especially crafters like us, they think that we don't have a job. We don't have nothing else to do. And uh, they call us, right? They say, can you do this? Can you do that? Well, I'm working. I'm busy, you know. And uh, that's the reason I don't sleep. I work so many hours try to finish a project especially when it's paid right you just wanted to have it getting out of your hands and uh, to the customer so i just wanted to talk about that yeah it's it's not easy to uh, create things design things and you know take your time when you're home but when you're out oh she's working she has a job that's what they say but when you're in the house no they don't think that you're working even in the uh, the people that you live with, they don't think you're working. Yeah, that's another thing. Yeah. 
Well, you guys take care. If you if you haven't uh, hit the no uh, notification bell, just hit the notification bell. There's a bell uh, under the screen, and uh, it will give you three more options that you can hit. The first one. So every time I get uh, I post a video, you will be notified. And yes, I did hit hit my 700 videos. So this must be I don't know over this is 700 plus video uh that i'm posting i'm thrilled it's it's not easy it's, it hasn't been done in one day it took me over 10 years since uh, uh valentine's day uh february 14 2009 i started this video and i'm just happy how it's turning out i hit 34,000. Uh, if you're th going to say, oh, you're not doing yarn uh, giveaways. Well, I did yarn giveaways in 21. So uh, stay tuned for 22 yarn giveaway. I am planning to. I even had a, bought a bag from Crystal of Moore. Ed Moore. Oh, oh, I have a hard, hard time pronouncing her last name. And I will add that and add other things as well. But stay tuned for that. That will be coming pretty soon. It's just, uh, yeah. I want the weather to warm up because I haven't gone out. I still haven't gone out to shoot some pictures, videos to post because it's cold outside here. Well, you guys take care. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.